Sun-watching satellites have spotted the biggest solar flare in more than three years, which narrowly missed Earth. But more eruptions are on their way, a sign that the sun is waking up. Marvi Dolphin will give us the details, live. Yes, Marvi? Elsie, the sun unleashed its most powerful solar eruption since 2017 on Sunday, as astronomers have discovered a series of enormous new sunspots on the side of the sun facing Earth, ahead of a period of what is expected as we enter the active phase of the next solar cycle. The solar flare, which is a sudden bright explosion of electromagnetic energy measured as an M4.4 on the scale astronomers use for sunstorms. M-class flares are medium-sized eruptions compared to background level A-class flares to small C-class flares and major X-class flares and rank on a scale from 1 to 9, with larger numbers representing greater intensity. The M4.4 flare's bright burst was accompanied by a coronal mass ejection or CME, which is a large release of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona or its outermost layer. Astronomer Tony Phillips detailed some of the technological effects of these flares, which send out a massive burst of electromagnetic radiation that is capable of causing radio blackouts, sometimes across the entire planet, in the case of powerful X-class flares. M-class flares, like the one seen on Sunday, typically triggers only minor consequences and created only limited disruptions on Earth. Although the flare appeared as an M-class from Earth, it may actually have been a stronger flare, since the event took place partially behind the sun. And so many specialists have cautioned that our digital society and reliance on satellites based communications is particularly vulnerable to a powerful solar storm that could come at just about any time. Elsie? Thank you, Marvi, for that report.